Another variation on recreation-based natural resource income opportunities involves shooting. Many landowners generate additional income with fee hunting operations. They invite individuals or groups to hunt deer, turkey, or other game animals on their property, charging a fee for the privilege. While fee hunting is one possibility for generating additional income from the shooting sports, other opportunities are also available. I started supporting Clay's operation about three years ago. Um, I was looking for something to subsidize farming that would keep me in the outdoors and shooting aspect of it, and it was something that just fell right into place. Um, I could stay with the outdoors people, the shooting, and could have fun and could start shooting sporting clays myself. The sporting clays operation has given Tom Dodd the opportunity to use land that otherwise would go unused. We own 750 acres here in one block, but I've only actually got about four or five acres of tillable land tied up in the sporting clays. The rest of it is woodland that was not productible to start with and it is made out well because you basically use around the edge of your woods and this, that, and the other that was not productive land to start with, so it doesn't take that much out of your overall farm income. Before he built his Sporting Clays range, he made sure a shooting complex was allowed in his area under county zoning laws, ordinances, and noise restrictions. He researched several types of shooting operations. I gave serious consideration to a release bird operation where you would release pheasant, quail, so have it as a wild bird, but you have to raise the birds all year long to be profitable. You have to fool with bird dogs all year long. And it's you've got to run a major business um, volume-wise to do well at that aspect. And this way, um, when I'm not shooting anything, these clay targets aren't eating anything. I don't have to feed them. I don't have to have a bird dog to run around and chase them up. And uh, I mean, it's an initial investment, but when it's not being used, it's not costing me anything. For any business venture, it's important to know your audience and how to reach them with your marketing effort. I did a whole lot of advertisement to sporting clay stores or sporting goods stores. Um, advertised in the Sporting Clays magazine, um, went to a lot of Clays tournaments, just be seen at the Clays tournaments personally and did a lot of shooting. And um, it's, it's taken a while, but in a two or three year period, I've gotten to be known through a circuit through a four or five state region, and people start to recognize my name as having a Clays course. And, it started to pay off because I get a lot of people that'll come from out of state that'll come up here for a week's vacation and shoot my course and two or three other courses in the vicinity at the same time. Dodd has a warning for anyone thinking about starting any business and making a quick profit. And it is done fairly well at the point, per se, I have not made any money off of it, but I have had the farming income to subsidize it and I think it's getting ready to get to the point where I will make a profit off of it, but it's nothing that you want to look for in the first one, two, or even three years as a profitable income.